a ton of tadpoles in here. Oh, there's one. There's a ton of tadpoles in here. And I would not doubt those are those wood frogs. So really cool. There's one. And right there are a ton of feeding tadpoles. They're feeding on some of the plant matter on the surface of this vernal pool. Really cool. At first I thought they were dead because all I see is bellies, but no, they're eating. Really cool. So came out to the spot where I found snake eggs before. It's in the Pine Barrens. And the first snake of the day is a little eastern worm snake. Really pale underside. And seems to be in shed too, so we go ahead and let this guy go. See what else we find today. Cool. Here, come here. Help me flip some of these boards. So it's been a while since I stopped over at the spot and flipped that log and found two little metamorph two-line salamanders. So I already got some photos, so I'm just gonna put them back now. But nice to see them. <clears throat> nice to see them. Um let's see if there's any more. Oh, there's another. Right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this log back down carefully. So you wanna make sure that when you're handling amphibians, you have clean hands and you can wet them with some water uh, to keep the amphibian moist. But the reason why is because they have permeable skin, which allows them to take in minerals and even oxygen through their skin without the need of lungs. And so they're very sensitive to any pollutants in the environment, which can be from your hands. Just spotted the first Fowler's Toads of the year. This guy's really dark. And then, oh, this guy has a lighter pattern. Cool. All these frogs are calling right here to attract the females to these vernal pools to then breed. So that's why these frogs are calling. Only the males call. There's another Fowler's Toad. There are just tons of them right here. But yeah, cool. Let you know if I see anything else. And here's the first peeper I got to see tonight. All the rest, I can't even get a good view of them, but yeah, cool. Call for me. Give me a peeper call. I only have 1%, and my phone's drenched. I'm also drenched too. So it is April 30th, it's about 61 degrees, and we just had a storm. It's been raining for the past couple days. So I'm gonna see if there's any frogs crossing the roads. Hopefully we get a great tree frog. Well, here's the only live frog of the night on the road. A little green frog. I saw three DOR um, gray tree frogs though, so I'm a little upset about that. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go now. Stay out of the road. Finally, I was about to go home and found this guy right on the side of the road that I just passed, so they're moving. First great tree frog of the year. I'm gonna get this guy out of the road and take some photos. Cool. 
All right, come here, buddy. Oh. Nice. Yeah, so I heard a bunch of these calling before while I was looking at those Fowler's toads and those peepers. So yeah, first northern gray tree frog of the year. Really glad I kind of stayed out for, or took another pass on this road because it wound up producing this guy. So these guys have a nice aposomatic coloration. Ooh. And these guys have a nice aposomatic coloration on the back of their legs. You can see that bright lime greenish yellow. And that just wards off predators, letting them know that these guys are toxic. So cool. I'm gonna get this guy on the side of the road he was going. And yeah, nice first northern gray of the year. See you later, buddy. Just passed another DOR uh, northern gray tree frog, so these guys are definitely crossing the roads tonight since it's about 61 degrees and still drizzling. And we had tons of rain, so they're probably having a great time tonight. At least the ones that aren't getting hit by cars. Alright, so I figured I'd do one more pass just so hopefully we can find one more gray tree frog for the night. Because that would really that'd really uh that'd really make my night. So if I see one I'll let you know. Yay! Another cool second gray tree frog of the night. Good thing I didn't go home yet. But after this guy I might. Let me get Sky out of the road. Oh, oh, oh! Here you go. Oh. Really cute. Alright. Stay out of the road. Cool. got some photos of this guy. See you later, dude. Have a good night. It's super foggy now, which is cool. I like the fog. And it's a perfect time for frog activity. Frogs like it when it's really moist and rainy. So, well, I feel satisfied. First gray tree frogs of 2023. Warm, rainy days like today really trigger a lot of frog activity. Oh, there's another one. No way! Third gray tree frog of the night, a big adult, and he looks really brownish or yeah, brown. Really cool. I was saying warm rainy nights like tonight trigger a lot of frog activity and also trigger these guys to breed. So perfect night for this. Let me get this guy out of the road now. Get some photos. Really cool. Alright, well that was cool. Third gray tree frog of the night. Stay out of the row, buddy. Really pretty individual. Being that dark brown. You can't really see it with my phone flash, and my flashlight is not really working the best, but stay out of the row, buddy. All right, so my flashlight seems to be working a little better now. Here's a closer look at this guy. Really pretty. All right, that's gonna be about it for tonight. See you guys next time I get out. So here's for an idea of what this habitat looks like now. This is right where <clears throat> um, those wood frog eggs were that became tadpoles not too long ago. And uh, yeah, that's where they were, like right around there. That's where the vernal was, but now it's just a river. That's how bad the flooding's been recently. But yeah, crazy. It's like a whole different habitat. Looks like we're in a different time period.
So it is May 20th. It's about 66 degrees, so I'm going to shine the roads and see what we can find. I already saw a few DORs, but here's the first live frog of the night. Nice green frog. I'm going to get this guy out of the road. There he goes. All right, let's see what else is out. Hmm. Nobody yet. Oh my gosh. Look how small the spring peeper is. One second. All right, see you later, buddy. Really cute little spring peeper. So tiny. So just spotted this bullfrog here on the side of this pond. Really pretty one, too. But awesome. All right, back on the road again. I'm getting closer to where the gray tree frogs are. So hopefully we'll see one. And hopefully it's a live one, too. Look at that, another peeper. get you out of the road. Alright, come here, buddy. Alright. Just got some photos of this guy. See you later, dude. Alright, so I'm making my way back home now. But if I see anything, I'll let you know. But nice getting to see those two peepers. And, um the green frog and the bullfrog tonight but yeah so I'll let you know if I see anything else I have no idea what that is but there's a tadpole cool. here's another look at this tadpole I think a frog just jumped in the water but cool Probably a bullfrog tadpole or a green frog. Either or.